Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I apologize there was no video yesterday, um, but if you've been following me over on Instagram, Texas and Oklahoma and this whole area over here is being affected really badly by weather. It's currently snowing and we're just not built for this kind of weather, unfortunately. We don't have snow plows and the means to salt the roads and people are home from work and schools are closed our kids have been home all week and we are in the middle of a blackout rotation to conserve energy and electricity so every like 45 minutes or so our power will get shut off and we're without power for like 45 minutes or so and then it'll turn back on in another 45 minutes or so not exact but somewhere around there and it's just to conserve energy and a lot of stores um, are wiped clean of necessities and it's starting to get a little scary but i know that the end is in sight because we're expected to have temperatures rise this weekend to above freezing so hopefully people can get back to work schools can start opening up and we can start receiving mail and packages again um there's just no means to get around really because the roads are so bad so everyone is being affected right now sorry my battery died we're all thankfully fine um staying warm our heater turns back on every 45 minutes um so our house is fine um we're hanging in there we're starting to go a little stir crazy um adam went back to work yesterday um but he is used to the snow and the icy roads because he's from south dakota so he knows how to drive pretty well even though our car is not a four-wheel drive um, he's been able to get to and from the warehouse safely. So he's currently there. I think the warehouse right now, as of today, the power has stayed on there. So he's able to get some work done. Um, but I've been here with the kids and we are just taking it day by day. We're starting to run low on necessities food wise. We have, I think a gallon left of milk and completely out of produce and bread but we have enough food to get us through to the weekend and i'm hopeful that by the weekend um, the stores will start to stock up on the necessities after this crazy storm passes so i know so many people out there have it so much worse than us and you guys are in my thoughts and in my prayers and i hope you guys are staying safe and warm please check on your oklahoma and texas neighbors and see if they need anything. I know there's so many of you out there that have been without power for days now with little ones at home and my heart goes out to you and just know that we're praying for you. But for today's video, I have some things I need to get done around the house. I've been home all week, like I said, and so the house has just been kind of like neglected. So today's video is gonna be kind of like a cleaning video, I guess. So we're gonna start with, um, I need to, take all the sheets off of our master bed and I wanted to wash the couch cushions too. Those are the two things that I wanna just get started right away. Put them in the washing machine. We have power right now, um, but I know it's gonna get turned off actually <laughs> within like the next 10 minutes or so. So I might be able to just take all the sheets and the cushions off, but I won't be able to actually start the load until we get our next round of power in like an hour and a half. So. Anyways, let's get started with today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you like these types of videos, I've been getting requests to film a lot more cleaning videos lately, so hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you wanted to see how much snow we've gotten, we got another six inches last night, which is just crazy for Texas because this hasn't happened for decades and decades. So this is what we're working with. Our power just went out again. So I'm just going to strip the beds and wait for it to come back on again and then I'll be able to start the actual load. Do you ever feel you don't get out what you're putting in? Who will pick you up? 
Okay, just strip the bedding. I'm gonna do the couch cushions next. And if you see, hi Chloe. If you see um, candles in the background, it's what we use at night. I'm thankful that I saved some of these when I started getting into essential oils for times like these because these have actually come in handy a few times when the power goes out out here. Lost everything. Okay, now I'm going to wipe down all the surfaces in our master bedroom. And then once we get power back, I'll move on to our bathroom. I need to wipe down everything in here, vacuum off the floors, but you guys can't really see because it's kind of dark. So once we get light again, I will move on to this room. If you're wondering why the faucets are dripping and our cupboards are open, it's so hopefully our pipes don't freeze. It's been working so far, so fingers crossed. It continues that way, but yeah, that's why you hear the faucets dripping and I know the cupboards like drive me insane. I want to close them so bad, but it's been working, so we're doing what we can.
Okay, just finished up vacuuming and wiping down all the surfaces in our bedroom. The power is finally back on, so I can move on to the bathroom, start wiping things down, vacuum and mop in here, but first I'm gonna throw the couch cushions in the washer. <laughs> I'm gonna do this on the quick cycle or the speed wash because it only takes 35 minutes and that's about how much time we have until our power goes out again.
had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason But it's like something feels different from back then Why don't up without you by my side I still see your silhouette Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Your bedroom for today's video our comforter and our sheets are still in the dryer i've just been having to between power outages just keep running the um dryer so it's still it's taking a while to get dry but it's almost done and then once it's done i'll put them back on and i was gonna film cleaning out in the living room in the kitchen area but now that the sun's gone down it's just gonna be too hard to wait for the rolling blackout to go in and out in order for me to have light to film and then to have um, power to upload my video for you guys. So I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.